station is still overrun with droids. We must get to the communications room. I suppose we'll just have to take a shortcut. I'm so blue, I'm so blue, I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. Welcome to Chamfer 35. On this walkthrough or gameplay, this is Star Wars The Clone Wars. What's up, everyone? This is Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes, and today we're going through this level with ease. And. Yeah, I got stuck there because the game does say, Oh, you're there? Okay, we'll make sure you stay there until you die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I'm collecting points. When a Jedi's path is blocked, a useful ally can your enemies be. So how's everybody doing? I'm sure everybody's doing great thus far. And that's me, you don't need to get all the points. He come on, man. You're making things a little bit unnecessary. There we go. Alright. And now you need to use the draw. Uh, no. There you go. Now, ride like a wind, bullseye. And blow up that air duct. There you go. Anyways, my day is going pretty good thus far. Um, I have an excellent day yesterday, and I'm planning to do recording now. Mostly because um, I didn't well, didn't do recording after. Uh, <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, I was planning to do uh, to upload this yesterday, but uh, oh well, it's no big problem. So, anyways, um, we're just passing through this level until we meet or the boss. Yeah, nothing very much happens around here, just avoiding all those, um, active air duct thing majiggies. Yeah, I call them thing majiggies. And make sure you don't get killed, basically. So, yeah. Okay, when I was going through this part, I thought I would grab all power-ups, which I might not. Sometimes consoles must be destroyed for a Jedi to pass. Short circuit the console you can. Which I can't actually. So, yep, yeah, uh, kind of a little disappointed, but hey, it's just a game. Nothing too bad about it. I don't know what I was thinking right there. But, oh well. So, have you seen the new E3 event? I haven't... There isn't the uh, Nintendo E3... Um, Treehouse uh, Live yet. Which, that is actually coming out tomorrow. However... I've seen other games that are coming out this year. And it seems to be a little bit more interesting. I mean, we finally got Crash Bandicoot back in action. Well, technically he's not back back. There's just a remastered HD version of the original Crash Bandicoot series. Wish I could play those games. And such good times. When I used to have a PlayStation 2, I used to play Crash Bandicoot Warp. It's an awesome game and I recommend anyone to play it. If you have it on the PS3, if you have a PS3 and you download it from the, the PS Store, or you could buy a game with the PS2, either way it's pretty good. But if you want to get the PS4 edition, well, you have to wait for the end uh, for um, <clears throat> fall, because that's where it's going to be. However, if there's one thing I am a little bit nervous about is Crash is part of the Skylander series. Why did you decide to do that? <laughs> uh, well, 
I think it's mainly because they want to see if everybody is into Crash Bandicoot these days. Instead of how they did with Spiral, where they just say, Oh, you like Spiral? Well, he's going to be in the games. So, either you grab the games of the original series, test it out, or you can simply buy it on Skylanders and have a collection of it. Either way, it's a win-win situation. Not really for the fans' idea, but at least Microsoft did uh, at least it wasn't how Microsoft ruined it by um <clears throat> just ignoring what the plan uh, what the fans really want. I see some games that are also coming out, like the new God of War. I never actually play God of War per se, but it actually looks pretty good. In fact, I'm actually kind of interested, which is surprisingly, because I never play a God War, and this is the first time I ever seen it happen. But, man, there are so many good things. I mean, Sonic at its Lego form, it, oh man, that it looks amazing. And, oh, the new Spider-Man game? Why, alright, I'm so hyped. One thing I am a little bit interested in is what Nintendo's going to bring into the table. Perhaps something for the, um, <clears throat> just the Nintendo Wii U console, as well as showing what the Nintendo NX would be like. If they ever plan to do an NX, which I think they are doing an NX, but not this year. I think it's going to be next year. But hey, time will tell. Speaking of time will tell, I wonder if they're ever going to do this like Cooper game. Uh, I don't know. What, uh, I mean, what is your interest in the <clears throat> E3 event? Place it in the comments below. I would have to say, honestly, everything. So, here we are. Inside some sort of, um, trash room where you're supposed to <clears throat> get to uh, get out of there but for some odd reason oh excuse me for, but for some odd reason ah oh, man I had too much uh, cocoa but for some odd reason I didn't naturally think about moving forward because I thought uh, I need to do something with that little boulder piece right there but all you have to do past me is to move the boulder and skedaddle. Also destroy those droids. Those droids are in the way. They're in the way, man. But yeah, move it right there and let it go. I said, let it go. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, man, I can't wait what they're going to show for the E3 event for Nintendo. I hope it's pretty good. I mean, of course, everything's good with Nintendo, uh, except for um, amiibos. I really don't get the idea of collecting amiibos. I mean, I know. It looks amazing, I, I, if you want to be a collectible and all that stuff. But do you really need to collect Amiibos to play a game? No? It's just for extras, so... If you don't want extras, then you don't have to get them. But... Then again, if they have a Sonic Amiibo and other char character Amiibos, I'm probably understand why they want to try to collect them all. It's like, um, one of those, uh, collect collector's editions where you can catch them all. Top of Syndrome. And I have no idea what I was doing here. I guess I'm riding on the droid and destroy it. And we're going to move on. There we go. Come on, pass me. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, enough of me failing. 
Enough of me failing, let's move on. Alright, there we go. And... I think... We're... Almost there? This should take us straight to the communications room. Oh, cuts it. Very well. Just recover it. You need worry, Count. Now please excuse me. I have company. Ah, Jedi. You're earlier than I expected, no matter. You do not belong here, Scott Cohen. I'm just passing through. Who are you? I thought Jedi knew everything. In the name of the Republic, we are placing you under arrest. Take one more step, Jedi. How fun are you? Oh dear, we got a new enemy! Finally, we get to see a boss! Well, actually, second boss to be exact. The first one is not a boss per se, you just destroy a big joy uh mechanical thing and that's about it but now we get to see a boss battle Woo! oh yeah we have to deal with this what was that cody get everyone off the station now sir we've just secured the cargo decks one and two in a few minutes there won't be anything left to secure commander understood sir all right men we're getting off this rock crusher you lead the way so Yes, sir. Honestly, I'm not shooting my gun like this. For some odd reason, my controller acted up. I really don't know how or why. So I decided to roll along with it and decided go guns blazing because nothing in this game has any penalty of me being too reckless. Ah. <sighs> Anywho, um, the E3 event is pretty amazing. I hope to see more of it tomorrow. I am so hyped for it, Nintendo's case. Uh, okay, now I fix it. That's much better. <laughs> All right. So we're continuing on, but we are fa so um, right now we're trying to get to safety by getting to the escape pod and getting ourselves out of there. Of course, we got Switch here, who um is going to be. I'm not going to spell any same, but you will have a teary moment with this guy. Anyways, so we're destroying all these droids and press on forward. Yeah, I'm. It's bland way to say it, but. Okay. Now the droids are destroyed. Oh, we got those droids. Okay, let's destroy them. Yeah! And speaking of destroy, we got destroyers. Great. I was playing a Lego game, I would have had so much fun than this, but uh, I can't complain. It's a really good game. Well, not the best game I ever played. Um, it's just an alright game, just to what if you want to like escape from reality and just want to chillax a little bit. There's no penalty in this. You just shoot Jedi, shoot Jedi, shoot. Jedi shoot clone Jedi clone Jedi <sighs> One of these days they should change the pace. Alright. So now we got um to do something over there past me. There we go. Yeah, 
We got this. So, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now the other way. Not that way. There we go. Now the other one. There we go. Okay. Now that's fair. All right, everybody, get out of here. That's right. All right. Now let's go in. Oh wait. We need to go to the other way. Okay. That's uh, kind of full. All right. Now we still do this and. I'm sorry. I really wish there were different variations of being the Jedi and a clone. But that's... This is just not boring, not lazy. It's just... I really wish there were some variations. And why did I decide to do that? That's me. Work with me, man. Name go. No. Go there. There we go. Now, the other one. Up. Not that way. Thank you. That's fair. <laughs> Alright, everybody get in. Enemy forces approaching from point six eight. And we're moving on. Yep. Uh, I think this is the final escape pod that we need to go in. I'm not quite sure myself. Hopefully. Yep, this is the last one. Alright, so we need to um, <clears throat> pass me. Come on. There we go. Now we need to unlock the final escape pod, which I don't know why I decided to do that. Okay. There we go. Now, turn that way. Now, inside the. Mm. I don't know why I keep on making that mistake. You shall never be missed. Well, time for the boss. Yep. There is no escape, Scott Cohen. But may I suggest that we negotiate? It's over. You can't bargain without bringing something to the table. But I do have something, my hasty friends. Uh, uh, uh. One more step, and I blow every single escape on into space dust. You're bluffing. Try me, Jedi. Steady, everyone. I do not sense any deception. You're more than happy to risk your own lives, but not the lives of others. Pathetic. I shall ask you again. Who are you? What do you want? My name is called Tesca. I want you don't have. But I'll settle for seeing the looks on your faces as your precious clothes down. Sorry to 
Alright, now we got the final boss, which is kind of very easy. All you have to do is wait for him to make him all dry down by throwing a bomb if, to gain extra more hit points. And try to hack and slash him like th just like that. Don't use the Jedi Force like I did, it, it doesn't do anything. Just uh, delay the inevitable. Also, avoid his attacks as best as possible. It can take a lot of damage. Alright. And now, if I could see a bomb and push it at him after those attacks, and. Oh, after that attack. Actually, now where are you? And after those attacks, too. It's been a long while since I uh, <clears throat> played this game. Okay. Now, there we go. Now we got him. Now attack! Come on. Alright, get to the orange. Oh, Almost. Now's the waiting game. Nothing is to talk about. Um, other than the, <clears throat> the details about the new Spider-Man game, it looks really amazing. It looks like um, the Spider-Man from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which actually Civil War best movie of all time. Better, <laughs> uh, better than Batman v Superman. No offense to anyone who are DC fans out there, but it's just. I do enjoy it a little bit here, dear. It's just when you are trying to mash up all um, nostalgic moments that is unnecessary. It just feels a little bit uh, cut filler type of scenario, if you ask me. I don't know if that is a word, but, uh, oh well. Uh, although I always keep on saying that this is the year of video games of 2016. But after Ratchet and Clank, um, you know, maybe I was a little too hype about it. But I thought Ratchet and Clank movie was not that bad. It could have been better. I mean, it has Ratchet and Clank in the title. The only main thing that is a problem is just they never focus a lot about Ratchet and Clank. I don't know why they do that. Anyways, this is just a lucky shot right here. Well, I don't believe in luck, so let's just say a. <clears throat> A, um, <clears throat> what is that word I'm looking for? Ah, oh, yes! A cheap, no, not cheap move. Um, cheap shot. Yeah, cheap shot. I guess I could say. Anyways, uh, what you do here is use the force push to push his grenades and he comes down, you know, hack and slash him. Same thing with the uh, mines, but you have to deflect his projectiles instead. And then it's a waiting game all over again. No, maybe I should have just done three levels instead of four. But, ah, uh, well. Live and learn. To the edge of the middle. 
All right, now we destroy him. Destroy him, my Jedi. Well, anyways, and that was a waiting game. Oh, I love waiting games. And yeah, um, the second phase, uh, he shoots the lasers and graphs platforms, breaking them bit by bit, as you can see here. <sighs> Not much action around here, I suppose. Alright, now we get... Oh, I thought we got him. There we go, now we got him. No, we don't. <laughs> can deflect his laser attack with the lightsaber. Maybe you can, but uh, I don't want to try. Alright, now... There we go! Now, let's destroy him! What? What? Alright, third phase! All you have to do here is to use the force to push the um, boxes that are floating like gravity and destroy him like so. I didn't know how to do this at all because I was just thinking he's going to throw something at us, right? Come on, throw it, throw it so I can throw it at back at you. I'm a Jedi. Alright. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Sticks and stones shall grind my bones, but words will never harm me, my friend. Yep, now I forgot the point where you have to use the Jedi Force to destroy him, but I was kind of a little bit too hasty because I, like, I am literally giving up right here. I was like, come on, how do you kill him? How do you kill this guy? I wanted to finish this off. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! I mean, seriously, how does anybody even know how to do this? Certainly not me at my first time. It's not even obvious enough. <sighs> I'm not complaining here, but I'm using the Jedi Force. I'm using the Force to destroy him, but nothing is happening. Nothing <laughs> at all. All right. At least we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit more. He's resourceful, I'll give him that. We appear to be trapped. I have a bad feeling about this.
So, this is Jermaine from Jamprock 35. Like and subscribe for more to come. Question of the day, what are your thoughts on the E3 event? Place your comments down below. This is Jermaine from Jamprock 35. All I can say is, have a really good time. Bye, everyone.